is my third tutorial on Appcellular Titanium. In this video, I will talk about using um, titanium event handlers um, on objects like, say, buttons. Um, and then uh, you'll see also how to display an alert. So, um, pretty simple. Let's go into the documentation and um, under button, uh, well, in any class that has uh, events, there will be this table at the bottom of the documentation page for it um, that has all of the different events. And so the one we're going to use in this tutorial is called click. And with this, this event, it sends over different parameters such as global point, source, type, X, and Y. Um, and so this event is fired when the device detects a click against the view. And so um, let's get right into it. I've already declared a button and I've added it to the window. Um, I can change this tile here to events tutorial. There we go. And um, if you haven't seen this already, um, in Titanium when you specify like size and position of a view, you send in the size parameter and it's a dictionary of width and height properties um, and you send in integers um, and uh, the the zero comma the origin point or zero zero is at the top left of the screen um, and so that's where the position comes in and for send, setting position um, you send in the center parameter and um, that's a dictionary of x and y and um, its integer values once again origin zero zero um, is at the top left of the screen and so um, let's go ahead and define a event handler for or an event handler for our b1 variable which is a button uh, we'll say b1.add event listener and event listener takes in two parameters. The first one is the a string value um, representing the name of the event that we're trying to handle. In this case, it's click. And then the second one is actually a callback function. So you can put in, you can send in an anonymous function, and um, the event handler does send back some parameters. So you have to have um, some kind of variable within the anonymous anonymous function that will. Um, receive that at least, even if you're not going to use it. Um, now let's close those parentheses and put a semicolon. And so here what we're going to do is actually just open an alert box saying that you um, that some event happened. In this case the button was tapped. Um, and so we're going to display an alert dialog and uh, we can specify this by um, you know, we can easily either do the ti.ui.create alert dialog, pass in a title parameter, message, and button names, and then show it. Um, but the easy way, and if you've ever written any JavaScript whatsoever, you will be very um, um, happy to see that uh, Titanium shortens all of this stuff down to um, just the standard alert call. And you send in a string for the message. And so we'll go ahead and do that and say alert. Um, button tapped, whatever the heck you want to say, and that should do it. So let's run it on the iPhone simulator. Here's our button, it says hi, that's why I set the title to. If I click that, it'll display the alert box. Now, if you actually create explicitly created the alert view um, then you could specify what the title would be. In this case it's it's um, by default alert as the title. Uh, we did send in the message, it does say button tapped and then also if you explicitly created the alert view um, you could set different buttons and their titles and what they do. But um, this is just the default alert functionality. Um, so that was a nice tutorial on um, event listeners in titanium uh, thanks for watching